Okay, what you want to do is you want to get an outline of this design that you want to create on the bottom. You need a pattern. So what I did is I got a piece of construction paper and I started off doing it just a little bit. Kind of get a rough estimate of where you want it. I made a little hole. I started to take my pencil and making the indention and the pattern. And then you can kind of see, if you press down, you can see where the line is going to be. If you want to get a little bit better, you can take a pencil and you get start tracing over it here. It's making the lines. And then the inside, which is kind of hard to see it, but you push it down here and you press really hard and you're going to get the pattern that you want. Go all the way down. So what I'm going to do on this part right here, I'm going to cut this part out too. So instead of boring you with doing this, I'll show you just how it looks now and then I'll move on to the next step. So just take your pencil really quick, kind of draw, and then you'll see the line. Go all the way down. You'll make a really fine line where you want to make this. Okay, I cut out my template and it didn't come out exactly where I wanted it, so I had to improvise with some paper over the yellow to get it exactly where I want it. And here's a good example where I messed up. So you have the gray coming right here. So what you do, if you cut it short, just take another piece of paper, just a white little piece of paper, line it up perfectly on there. And then take some tape and tape it down. And if you cut too much, just go ahead and cut it down. If you cut too little, go ahead and take a little paper, slide it over, put it exactly where you want it, and tape it down. What I failed to see was that I need to make a cut right here, both sides, make a gap, so this will slip through when I go to install it. And then I think, um, depends how that looks right in this little gap here, you can see in there, I might put a little bit of wrap there, or I might leave it, I'm not sure yet at this stage, when I go back to my final product, product, I will see. But I have to have that little bit of a cut right there so this can slide down into it. Okay, now you got your template all cut out the way you want it. Now get a piece of stainless steel. This is a nice stainless steel piece I got off of a dishwasher. I got this free off of Craigslist. You can get Dishwasher is free all the time because they break down and nobody wants to fix them, but they do have a nice Try to get the ones that have the Stainless steel front ends and These are relatively easy to take off a dishwasher and then um, just recycle the Dishwasher and you can make some money doing that, but the trick is to get it for free So go ahead and take your template put it down Trace it on here with a Sharpie pen and go to the next step. Okay, I used a pen, the Sharpie pen, and I traced all around this template. I put a little bit of tape here to keep it in place so it doesn't move at all. Use painter's tape so you don't wreck your project. And just go ahead and take it up and there's your template right there to cut from. Okay, now the cutting process. After examining these complex turns here, I decided I'm not going to use my angle grinder on this project. My grinding cutoff wheel is just too big, especially with like the turns right here. So I'm going to try this saw with a metal blade on it. It's real thin. I'm sure it'll cut right through it. But whatever you use, be sure to have eye protection and ear protection, no matter if you use the grinder or one of the, uh, the jigsaw here because it is loud and you don't want to hurt your eyes, you go blind, or you don't want to hurt your ears and go deaf. Okay, after I cut it, I will show you the next stage. All right, I cut it out. I ended up using my grinder and 
my jigsaw because these angles are really bad. And I went ahead and left right here. I did not cut it yet when I test fit it. I know it looks like crap right now, but take your grinder and you're going to clean up all the edges. And you're going to have to test fit this a couple times. I made two holes. That's where the rubber grommets go on the for your hood. But right now, this is just the very rough. You're going to have to clean it up and test fit it and cut. And You might have to cut at different angles here and there. But don't be discouraged at this stage because it does look really bad. You are going to have to manipulate this to look better. This is just the stage I'm at right now. Okay, I did have to end up cutting that to fit it in. And these holes have to be one inch. Most people don't have a one inch drill bit. So what you do is you make a small hole and then holes all around it like this and take your jigsaw and put it cut all around with your jigsaw to make it that whole one inch exactly. Okay, now that you've cleaned it all up and took the grinder and you know, cleaned all the edges up, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this with gray carbon fiber. But this is the fun part and the DIY part. You can spray paint this any color you want, match your car. I was even thinking about hydro dipping it, but I don't have that skill down yet, so I'm just gonna wrap it. And there's plenty of videos how to wrap on the internets on YouTube, so go ahead and watch one of those if you wanna do the same. Okay, so I decided to wrap it in black carbon fiber. The gray carbon fiber, for some reason, was not working out for me. It kept on bubbling which I don't understand why, but this is the piece. What you do is just go ahead and slide them now. Gets in there. Then you take these little grommets here, like, and they just go right back in here to the hole. Gonna turn them in. Put one on both sides. And for an extra measure, you can put some 3M double-sided adhesive tape. This is how it looks. And then I went ahead and I bought a little emblem here. It's off of a 67 Camaro logo emblem. And that's the whole thing. And I will put that down with some tape and that should hold so what you can do on these plates you can do anything you want with them make them any color you want any design make it your own that's what's so fun about DIY hope you like it this whole project cost me well this was the most expensive part. That was $15. It, this is about $7 because it got the cheap eBay carbon fiber wrap. The one from Amazon did not work and that was actually more money. I don't understand why that didn't come out. But hopefully you like it. Hopefully you'll do stuff to your Camaro too on the cheap. Remember DIY is fun and you save money. Thank you.